Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the code for the problem B that is make equal. Okay, so there are n containers of water lined up numbered from left to right from 1 to n. Okay, each container can hold any amount of water initially. The i container contains ai units of water and there is a condition the sum of ai is divisible by n. Okay, that's fine. So we can do any number of operations, possibly zero, for any amount of water from i container to j container where i must be less than j. Right? Any index can be chosen as i or j any number of times. That is that is the case, right? So we need to see some example for understanding. In the first case, we have 43 and there is only one container. That means it is equal and the answer is yes in this case simple so this is a very simple example let's see one more <coughs> one and three so one and three we can put amount from this container to this container only not here to here this is not allowed that means we can't make it big so that is a problem right so it's not possible so answer will be no the least amount required will be 2 in this container, but we can't fill it. That is the problem. So here answer is no. Okay. That is the reason why we have answer no here. So let's see a better case for understanding. 4, 5, 2, 1, 3. Right. Can you see that? The least amount of water is required. How much? 4, 5, 2, 1, 3. That is 15. 15 is divided by 5. That means we need 3. Right. So let's suppose in the first container we put 3. How much extra? 1. In next it is needed 5. Right. 5. So we can put 3 again. And what is the extra amount? 2 here. So total extra amount is 3 again so two here so we can put one one liter here so that it can become three and the extra amount will be two here then again three here and then again three it is zero here and zero here so that is the reason we can make it equal and that's why answer is yes so let's see another case for better understanding, we have 1, 2, 3. So, the minimum amount of water is required 3, 2, 5, and 6. 6 divided by 2. Sorry, 3. That is 2. So, that means at first level we need 2. And it is only 1. We can't put any amount of water here. So, that's the problem. That's why at this point we can say it is not possible. And we'll return it. That's it. So let's say we have uh, this case. This is a good case. So let's say 4, 5, 5, 0, 6, 4, and 4. Right. So total is 28. 28 divided by 7. That is 4. So we need 4 liters of water at each container. So initially it is 4. We don't have any access but it is equal to 4. So it is not a problem. So 0 access. Now here it is 5. We can have 4. It is access 1. Here we can put 4 access 1. 1 and 1, 2. That means at this position we can fill only 2 liters, not more than that. So at this point we can decide like it is not possible to fill. Are you getting? At this point we can decide easily it is not possible because we have only 2 amounts of water from previous. And we need 4. That is impossible to fill, right? That's why our answer is no here. So let's see last example as well so we have 6 5 5 1 
थ्री फोर एंड फोर ओके सो सिक्स फाइव इलेवन सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी एट अगेन ट्वेंटी एट सो वील रिक्वायर फोर सो वी कैन हैव फोर हियर बट देर इज टू एक्स्ट्रा अगेन रिक्वायर फोर हियर बट वन एक्स्ट्रा सो टोटल इज थ्री अगेन फोर टोटल इज एक्स्ट्रा इज फोर Now we need four. We have one, so we can fill it four. Now extra will be down to one only because we have consumed three units of water here. So let's say here we need one more. Okay, so we can put here four. Then it is zero. We can again put four, four because they are the same, right? Hope you understood the approach. This is the way to solve this question. Like we can. Get the excess amount of water from starting, and check the requirement. What is the requirement right now at this level? If it is not satisfying, that means it is not possible. If it is satisfying, we'll go on. We'll go till the last. If at any point we'll get it is not possible, then we'll return directly no. Otherwise, it will be yes. So let's see the code. Okay. So what we can do? Like we can simply take the vector input like this, and if n equal to equal to one, we need not to do anything. Just return answer as yes. That is the only thing. Now we can determine the sum, the total sum. We can calculate like this or by accumulate function. Anything in Python you can directly call sum. And here we we calculate the required amount of water at each container. So this this flag we don't need it. Okay. So we have also determined the excess water. Excess is initially zero. So we'll do we'll go at each iteration. So if b i is greater than equal to required amount. That means it has access, so we'll our update our access with bi minus requirement. Okay. Else, we what amount required at this level? Extra amount basically. So this will be required minus b of i. And if access is greater than equal to required amount, then we can subtract from the required amount and proceed. Otherwise, it will be no directly no. Because it is not possible to fill now, and we will directly return here. And if this condition, else condition, is not possible at after every iteration, then we can directly return yes. That's it. That is the solution for this question. Hope you understood the solution. Like this video, subscribe the channel. Thank you, and keep coding.